All right, Tom, your box arrived today, so I'm going to go ahead and get it opened. Take a look at your watches, or watch. looking example. It's original bracelet. Great looking watch. One of my favorites. Okay, <clears throat> so we have a 1971 Seiko 6139 6012. This is a Resist Text model. But you seem to be having some issues with the advancement. Yes, interesting. So you can go back, but you can't go forward. All right, so there are some gremlins lurking underneath the calendar side. That's for sure. Okay, so let's do first impressions. And then we'll <clears throat> look at the numbers and see what we get. So, beautiful bracelet, of course. Um, really just a nice example, nice and clean. These dials, the blue is just so iridescent and, and lovely. And you've got great loom, uh, good patina on everything. Nice, clean, um, nice, clean watch. Um, yeah, a little bit of hazing on some of your... Uh, on some of your dials, I mean some of your hands here, but it looks very original. Uh, it is running, so that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and give it a good wind. Looks like a nice, solid, clean, untouched watch. So that's a, that's a great, great start. I think that, that issue that we're seeing with the, um, with the hour hand shouldn't be a big deal. We can get that taken care of. So let's see how it's running. Just out of the box. This is probably not much of a wind in the watch, but I just want to get a sense of where the numbers are at the moment. Okay, so losing some time. Pretty messy signal. Um, Actually, go ahead and try and get some more power into the watch. It may not have gotten a lot of power in to begin with. I do this to help me determine <clears throat> how much work you know, obvious components will need, hairspring, uh, those sorts of things, as we get into the service of the watch. So, um, what I'm going to do now is just Put this back in place. See how well we do. All right, so that's that's not ideal. All right, let's see if we're in a weird position with the date changeover. Sometimes it can make a big difference. If you've got something bound uh, in your train of wheels. Um, for example, in the, on the calendar side, that can lead to power loss, which may be what we're observing. So I'm going to change the time, actually, to more like 3 o'clock rather than closer to 9 o'clock. <laughs> that makes a big difference. Okay, so certainly you've got something bound in your calendar side on the, on the gear train that's on that side. Still not the cleanest signal, um, and this may go haywire in a moment. But you're losing quite a bit of time. You're really out of error, the beat. Um, and really messy.
messy signal. So, you know, we're definitely going to have to dig in and see what's going on here. Um, I have to take a very close look at your train of wheels. Okay, so we have our work to do. Um, now, <clears throat> if the inside is anything like the outside, this shouldn't be a major, major deal, but we have to we have sure to that um, you know, the, inner, the inner workings of the watch are, are correct. So I'm going to go ahead and take your bracelet off. Um, that way I can get a real sense of where we are. I'm just going to take the case back off just to look at the condition of the movement, uh, not to actually disassemble anything, but just to look at condition. It's such a nice bracelet. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take the case back off and take a take a close look at what we've got here. Let's get us reset here. Sorry for the movement around. Okay. Hopefully this will come off without too much fuss. Yeah. Okay. Well, certainly very clean. Um, not a lot of haze seems to be running pretty well um, hey your hairspring at least at first glance looks good let's see if there are any servicing marks in the back of the case here I don't see any marks and that's a fairly it's pretty pretty stiff seal so you want to see them a little more pliable than that, so that reflects some some age. Um, we'll really know. I mean, that's pretty plastically. Yeah, that's that's basically toast. We'll know uh, very well once we get to looking at the um, the pushers and all of that. That'll sort of be an indicator of of age. Um, but oh 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 my. Okay, so first things first. That spring is in very bad shape and is in a bad position. I'm not sure who bent and warped this spring, um, but that's going to be interesting. Somebody has been in here and doing bad things. So that spring is in a weird way, and I'm not sure what the heck happened there. Um, I do have a replacement, so we, we may be able to make do, um, but that's a first thing it's kind of a flag, uh, for sure. Somebody's been in here without a whole lot of skill. Um, wow, what the heck is that? That's wrapped underneath of the the hammer pusher. Eee. Okay, well, first indication of something awry is this spring right here. That is not correct. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but... There's a spring that's right here, and that spring should come straight and clip on the back of this post. But yours is actually bent and out into the ceiling area of the case, and down underneath has been squeezed underneath of this thing, which is what's actuated by your uh, reset pusher that operates your hammer. I do. That is, that is not what you like to see. Okay, so that's first of all something is is a little bit uh, perhaps somebody without without a whole lot of knowledge has been in here doing something. That's bad. Okay, well, hopefully that's the only thing. We'll see. This is a 1971. This is a U.S. market, so it's a uh, 6139B movement, 17 joules, which is right here. We're gonna add some jewels to your lower and upper mainspring arbor ports and yeah you got some real wobble in that screw right there that just shows that we've got got some obvious wear going on okay well i see lots of oil 
on the upper part here. This is your, of course, your winding weight, and it's it should not be lubricated, uh, but there is some lubrication on it. Let me see if there's any lubrication underneath your cap jewels. Yep, there is some lubrication under there. So somebody's been in here recently. That usually doesn't hang around for 40 years. Um, certainly, uh, they didn't put their name on things. Uh, there's probably a reason for that, if you look at that, that crazy little spring there. Um, okay, well, not all bad. It's a very clean-looking movement, I have to say. You know, um, from, from just first glance, if I ignore some of the, some of the things, um, it's, it, looks, it looks like a good starting point. Um, we'll have to really get underneath the dial and, and get to going there. Uh, but overall, um, we're going to start. Uh, once I send you this video, I want to get your um, you know, final uh, go-ahead. Um, this is not the original crystal, uh, but we I do have one in stock. Um, I think I have one for this uh, on hand, uh, so we can get that back to an original. Uh, if you want to change it. Uh, if you don't want to change it, that's fine too. We can, we can put this back in. So let me know. All right. As um, soon as you see this uh, and you send me an email, I'll go ahead and get started. All right. Thank you, Tom.